garage gym setup. Um, I just have all the basic stuff, you know, to hit the main muscle groups. Uh, you really can do everything you need in here. You know, there's no like, like some of those hoist machines or whatever, but it gets the job done. You have your uh, main half rack, you have your lap machine, you have free weights, you have a bench. Um, you can do rows and stuff down there, but uh, I'll get more into it in a second. And so this right here I picked up on Amazon for I think 180 and it's a uh, TDS lap machine. Um, I think it's a pretty good part of your gym. Like if you were to set up your own gym, I would think you would you know need this because you can do so many different exercises. I mean, the main thing you would need is obviously a rack or something, but I think this is a big part of it too. Um, when I purchased it, it came with uh, the lap pull down bar and two of those little like curl bar things. I don't know if I just got two because they accidentally sent me two or you actually get two. But anyways, um, it's, it's a pretty good setup. Um, it gets the job done. You have, uh, you know, you can put your weights down there, you know, however much you want. And the only issue I see with this, or that happened to me, is these pulleys right here. These are aftermarket pulleys I got. And I think I got them on Amazon. No, sorry, eBay for like 11 bucks a piece. Because the original ones right here, um, they're plastic and they're just really not good, like at all. Uh, the inside just starts falling apart. See that when you pull it, when you pull it, it'll just start shaking around or whatever. So it was pretty sketchy, but I upgraded them. It was cheap and it's worth it because it's super smooth now. And uh, I need to upgrade the bottom one, but it has a bottom pulley too. And you can flip these uh, bottom plates around to do like rows or something. But the only reason I have these plates is because when you do like uh, curls, the whole machine will lift up. But I mean, the plates hold it down, so you're fine. Um, attachment wise, I have uh, rope I already had. Uh, I ordered this T, I don't know what it's called, but whatever. And this is my belt. I also picked it up for $30 on eBay. It's a Dark Iron Fitness, I really don't know. But uh, it's held up really good. I've had it for like a year and it works great. Um, set that aside, but. Here are the other attachments. Uh, I already had this, um, but it works really good for like, uh, if you wanna do lateral raises or focus on single bicep curls. Um, I have a, a tricep attachment, and you could usually find all this stuff like in a package deal on Amazon or eBay for like 30, 40 bucks, and you'll get like the rope, you'll get that, you'll get those. You but now for the main part of my gym, I have a, uh, fitness gear power rack that I picked up from Dix um, about three months ago and I think I paid like 350 for it but this thing is just uh, just super like sturdy and high quality for the money and um, it has just a tons and tons of uh, adjustments that you can put like you can really key it down like to where you want to squat where you want to bench you know if you're shorter if you're taller it really really is like fitted for a lot of people most people honestly um, the catch bars are really, really sturdy. Another thing is that these pull-up bars, you can adjust yourself, like you can take them and move them around and stuff, you know, to wherever you want to do. If you're trying to do close grip pull-ups, you know, whatever you want to do. Also, another thing is that these orange pins that come out, you take those out and you take this whole uh, gray bar off and you can put it in these blue slots right here and it becomes a whole dip station, which is, uh, Really, really smart. I think it's really cool. Um, Cause considering like a half rack, like a like a super like I don't know, rogue half rack is a good grand. And then you have uh, a dip station, which is another hundred dollars. You know, even if you want a Craigslist for stuff like that, it'd be another, you know, four five hundred, or it'd be four five hundred. But for three fifty with all this stuff, it's just such a good deal. Um, I'll put it in the description as well. A bench, I have uh, this Marcy uh, adjustable bench I picked up off Amazon. Uh, I think I paid like 85 for it or something like that. Uh, it also has a leg extension and leg curl uh, attachment, but uh, the attachment's only for like short people. Um, there's The problem is that when you put it on, your feet will drag the ground when you do leg extensions. Like it just, 
it doesn't work. The only way that I found to make it work is that you have to lift the seat up because it's adjustable. Um, set it, there's a pin in there, I don't know if you can see it. Instead of putting the pin in the uh, post itself that drops in there, you have to set it on top of the pin and then do your work, which is just really shady. Another thing is that when you put a lot of weight on there, not even a lot of weight, you just put weight on there, the whole bench will just sit on that front post and the whole thing will just be tipsy and it's really like shaking. You just, it's really sketchy, honestly, but um, as a bench itself, I think it's pretty good. Um, you know, if you're just benching, if you're doing uh, shoulder press, if you're doing stuff like that, like it's pretty sturdy, it holds up. But if you're looking for just a bench without a leg attachment or something, $80 could get you something, I think, way nicer than this. The only reason I picked it up was because it had that leg attachment and considering the only leg exercises I could do here is like squat and front squat and stuff like that. I needed something like that. Um, but overall, it just really just, I guess, gets the job done. It's a little sketchy, but it works, whatever. But I like it. I'll put that in the description as well if you want to pick it up. As, a, as with uh, some other benches for the same free price. weights, I have uh, 300 pounds of plates. Um, I picked them up on a Craigslist deal that I got a rack and weights and like everything. Um, I sold a rack that these came with uh, to get this actually. And um, I just kept the weights, but the, I paid like 250 and it came with, you know, a whole rack and stuff, but brand new, these weights are like, I think 300 with the bar that it came with. Um, but honestly, if you just look out for Craigslist deals like this, you could probably pick just the weights up for like 150 to 200, you know, all of them. And uh, the bar it came with is just a standard bar ball, nothing crazy. Um, also, when I picked up that uh, my first rack in those weights, uh, I got adjustable dumbbells. I mean, they're, they're 27 and a half, but um, you don't really do curls with them, nothing crazy, but I mean, they work. And then I also have an ab roller. Um, these clips I ordered off Amazon, uh, they're really, really good. They lock on, they don't move at all. Uh, they're pretty light, so they're not gonna you know, change the weight or anything. And uh, those came with the original uh, bench, I, or original rack I had. And then I also have these uh, regular clips that came with uh, my curl bar right here. That I picked up from Dick's for like 40 bucks. And uh, it's just overall a good setup. So there's my whole gym. Uh, it's probably around 750 to a thousand and uh, I'll put everything uh, all of it linked into the description as well as you know more benches for the price or you know whatever but um, I would also look into Craigslist if I were you to start your own gym uh, that's where uh, deals are made they're just super cheap and you can also talk people down and uh, get the price lower if you need to but uh, this is my overall gym and uh, yeah Thanks for watching.